Hello, welcome to the OpenGL projects. Today we are going to demonstrate a miniature steam engine. First, compile the program. Now, execute the program. Okay. Here you can see some instruction written for the key keypad arrow key how it's going to rotate the object okay rotate the crank and the crank is speed this here means a space okay space bar now going to the main object now first we are going to show you the mouse interaction just right click okay right click and you will see these options the four option first option will change switch from the wireframe to the solid second is the animation you can see the movement crank rotation it can be stopped again and now uh, if you click on speed up this first start it if you click on speed up it will go on speed and speed will increase you can see how fast it's moving now we are going to slow down the fourth option You can clearly see the speed now. It slow it down. Little more and little more. Okay. Uh, now we're going to stop the animation. You can see now start animation. Okay. You can see the wireframe animation also. Okay. Just stop it and now change. Okay. And now we're going to see the keyboard interaction. As as I shown you the previous previously at the beginning, just the instruction. This one, the keypad arrow keys. Okay, first we are going to see that only. Okay, just uh, if you click this up, no, sorry, if you press this first uh, up up key key up arrow key, it will move like this. In anti-clockwise direction, or say up, upward, or downward in in a clockwise direction. If you press the down arrow key, if you press the left, then it will move toward left. Simply in the clockwise direction, as you can see, and right arrow key will move it right. The same task can be achieved via the via the four key on the numpad. Okay, uh, this key are four six eight two. For up we have eight, so I press up eight. It is equivalent to the up arrow key, and I press two equivalent to down arrow key, and when I press four, it will equivalent to work equivalently to the left arrow key, and six seems to be the right arrow key. Okay. So properly now we going to make it proper. Okay, leave it. Uh, now next is uh, if you press the space bar, it will start animating. Okay, press again, it will stop. So a space bar can be used to switching between the sorry switch between the animation. Or start animation and stop animation. Again, uh, there is two way movement. One can be the crank can be move in clockwise direction or can be move in anti clockwise direction. For that, we have A or Z. So press A, it will move toward clockwise direction. Uh, the crank will move toward clockwise direction. Uh, sorry, anti clockwise direction. Okay, A will move anti clockwise direction. And Z will and our another key Z Z will move in clockwise direction. So mind it. Sorry for the wrong. 
uh, okay a will move clockwise anti clockwise sorry a anti clockwise and z clockwise now one more things we are going to see if you press s it will switch from the wireframe to solid and solid to wireframe so this help in switching between the wireframe to solid or solid to wireframe and then last and not the least if you press say space it will animate so we are going to now speed up press you can see press plus key okay then it will start uh, speeding up okay uh, if you press the minus key it will start decreasing the speed so it will slow down okay you can see it okay so it eventually stop uh, if you slow minus to stop and plus to speed up okay uh, and minus to slow down okay simply i think it's easy you can move it uh, make a wireframe speed up okay S made animation stop setting everything can be done it's a very good project uh, it's demonstrate the miniature steam engine okay thank you for watching this video do subscribe to this channel and don't forget to share like and subscribe thank you